Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. I'm really excited to be starting this new Let's Play series, so I'm going to be making a new single player world. We're going to call it uh, Swordfish Plays Minecraft. We'll use a random seed. I'll, uh, I'll show it in F3 and also put it in the description, just in case you want to see what's going on. No cheats, default world. Um, no bonus chest structures, all the normal stuff. And let's see what we get. It looks like starting in a taiga. That could be... I don't know. I don't really know what kind of things the different biomes are good for. I'm sort of... I've obviously played Minecraft before. I gotta get some food. Make sure that's a priority. I've obviously played Minecraft before, or I wouldn't be doing this series, but I haven't done a lot of really in-depth stuff. I've done a lot of, like, new worlds. Maybe I should have gotten a sword before I started killing this cow. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've done a lot of new worlds. I really like that beginning aspect of the game. The, um, like, the punching trees, like I'm doing now, and making tools, finding iron, the like initial discovery part. I find that really fun and exciting. So I tend to start my worlds over and never really build up a lot of things. I'm not planning on doing that for this series. I'm going to be playing this same world pretty much until I'm done with it. Um, but as we go on for longer and start doing more complicated things like enchanting and um, nether and everything like that. I'm going to be kind of learning as I go, which I think is going to be fun. Hopefully it's interesting for you guys to watch. So right now, I'm just punching trees, getting my wood and everything. Um, my plan is to stay out, stay out here in the overworld until I, um, until it gets dark. And then, I don't want to throw that away. Until it gets dark, and then go caving, probably. Um, I need a, I know I need a pick to just get some stone. And then, this looks like it could be a good place to start. Let me see. That could be a cave, I'm not sure, but... Um, that's my plan, to just... Oh, shit! What... <laughs> this is just a big hole in the ground. Okay. Well, and I don't have any blocks. This is a great start. <laughs> so I'm... I guess I backed into this hole. So I guess I'll... Uh, I'll just dig myself a staircase and that'll get me some stone. Wow. Well... I didn't say everything was going to be smooth. That's definitely not true. Hopefully there's no, like, lava or gravel or something up here. Alright. Here we go. Back to the overworld. I'm gonna not do that again. Wow, I feel silly. Okay. Oh, jeez. Is, is, is that the hole I just fell in? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cover that up. Sort of... Yeah, I, I, that's really well hidden. I'm probably going to run into that again. So I want a sword. And I want to go out and kill some cows. There seem to be a lot of cows around. Just want to get as much food as I can, because I really do like caving. And it really sucks to have to come up from caving if you run out of food. So I'm just going to do as much cow, cow hunting as I can before it gets dark. I think that's my plan. So, while I do that, because that's not the most exciting thing to watch, I think I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. Like I said, I really like the sort of adventuring stuff in Minecraft, the, like, progression towards a goal, like, first goal being to get iron, get yourself suited up in iron, and then kind of explore and get diamonds. 
I'm not so much of a builder. I like having a base. In my last world, I built a cute little house on top of a mountain. I'm definitely planning to do something like that again. Um, but mostly, I like exploring and kind of not, I mean, leveling up for lack of a better better term for it. Just kind of advancing in the game and getting more things and enchanting and probably to get better equipment I'll be doing some maybe mob spawners and XP grinders and those kind of things. But not so, wow, that's a lot of cows. This is like a dairy farm over here. Dairy, but beef. Beef. Um, so you'll see me doing a lot of caving. Hopefully that's interesting. I'll be doing a lot of exploring. I do really enjoy finding new areas. I like how... My favorite thing about this game is how it's it's always new. Every Everywhere you go could be different. Glitchy terrain is fun. Just to see random crazy things like floating islands and that kind of stuff. And then... Once I kind of get established, get my base, that's what I'm planning to do first. I just kind of talked in a circle. This is also the first time that I've really done, that I've ever done a Let's Play series. I've done some live streaming just of playing various games, but I'm kind of new to this, so I, it seemed like a fun thing to do. I did want to talk about that also. I really like watching YouTube. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of Minecraft Let's Players, specifically the Mindcrack server guys like Good, Balderfist, and Etho, and DocM77, B00, those guys. And they're sort of what inspired me to try to do this. It seemed like they're having so much fun, they're making their videos and interacting with their community, and I really wanted to try something like that. So that's sort of what got me interested in doing a series and starting a channel. And I'm hoping to make this a regular thing. I want to do at least a video a week of Minecraft and then some other games. I'm keeping an eye on a lot of indie games that are coming out soon. I want to try to do some Let's Plays of those. Or, oh wow, I need... Um, do I have any cobble? Yeah, I need I need to start cooking some of my food. Although actually, I should stop killing cows and start. I should chop some wood, just in case I run out of daylight and can't find any coal. I tend to do that. I walk around. I'm having a lot of fun finding animals and seeing what's going on out in the overworld. And I forget to find coal, and then I have no torches, so I can't go caving. And that's not the best. So I'm going to chop too much wood, probably. Probably way more wood than I need, but it can't hurt to have a lot of it, I think. And I'll make some charcoal. I don't remember... The recipe for charcoal is it is it how does that work how do you do I need to cook wood I don't have enough stone anyway oh boy oh I'm a mess I'm a noob I'm a messy noob okay so there was some stone around here somewhere if I dig down I could probably just find some I was talking and I <laughs> I stopped paying attention to where I was and now I'm lost. I should take that crafting bench with me. Okay. So far this isn't the smoothest beginning of a world I've ever had. It's really great when you spawn and you end up with like, here's a cave, here's some iron, here's some coal, here's everything you need to get started. It's like a built-in bonus chest, which actually... I don't know if any of you have ever played and used the bonus chest. I did it in a couple test videos when I was figuring out my recording settings. It's really not very helpful. One of them I got like 30 planks and a couple blocks of wood and some sticks, which is the easiest thing in the entire game to find. There was another game where I got a bunch of wooden tools. There's a creeper. Okay. This looks like a cave, but maybe not. Oh, whoa! Wow. 
I guess that sword was broken? Is this a cave? This could be... I probably shouldn't go in here without a sword. Let me make a sword. I know if you guys are watching this, you're probably like, please eat soon. Don't take health. Don't take starvation damage. I, I would, I will, I will. Good. There's coal. There is, is this a dead end? There's a dead end. And this looks like a cave. I think this is where I'm going to set up. So let me make myself a furnace. I think that's enough. I'm going to I think I'm going to set up shop in this little corner. I'll block this off with dirt. Just in case. And put my crafting table down. And of course, did I not? Didn't mine enough. One more. This is different. I've only ever heard the. Is this is that different nighttime music? That was a little frightening. I don't. I I liked the happy. Maybe that's the daytime music. I always thought this game had really nice happy music. That was not nice happy music. That was ominous frightening music. So I'm gonna shut myself in the dark, for now. I'm sorry that that's not the most exciting video. Oh, and there was coal here. I need to get some of this coal so I can cook my food so I don't starve. Where'd I put the furnace? I didn't put the furnace down. Here we go. Now let's cook some of that chicken. Ah, nice warm glow of the furnace. So <laughs> I'm sitting in a hole in the wall. This isn't as uh, adventurous as I was hoping to be at the beginning of the series, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta stay alive. And there was an interesting looking cave out here, so once once I get eaten, get all my food here, I'm gonna cook. Well, actually, I don't have a choice now. I gotta go out there. I have a sword. This is frightening. Okay. I hear monsters. Oh, that's a cow. Okay. Well, that could be much scarier. Make a little safety bar. <clears throat> Excuse me. And mine some of this coal so that I can make torches because this looks exciting. Oh, uh, there's a bat. I like that. I like the sign of that. Did I? Where's my... Oh, I ran out of... I'm gonna cook as much of this beef as I can. And I should probably make a stone pick. What is that sound? Is that spider? Is that a spider? Have I not played this game with sound before? I don't recognize any of these noises. What was I doing? I was making a stone pick. Right. And taking my food. I guess that's a spider. I mean, that sounds like what I think a spider should sound like. Where is it, though? I think there's enemies right above me. I'm gonna go back in here and make. I don't have, okay, I'm gonna mine some of this coal first. Hopefully, nothing gets me. So I can make some torches, not be quite so scared. Still safe. Okay, I gotta leave room for it to climb up though. I'm sorry I can't light this up for you guys, but I didn't have any coal. Okay, here we go. Spiders can. Oh, there's a skeleton. Okay. 
So I need... I want to make a shovel. That's important. And... Some torches. And this could be a little more interesting now. There's a shovel. I really also, I think I should block this entrance off. Just a little bit, just to be on the safe side. I'd rather not have to come back to my little base and get surprised with mobs. I do play very safe, very, very safe, most of the time. So, this is the entrance. Or at least I try to play very safe. I know that's not always the most exciting thing in the world, but I don't like dying. I don't think anybody really does. It is fun, the game is fun when it's really intense and stressful make it into an action game instead of an exploration game. I guess that's one of the beauties of Minecraft, is that it can be whatever you want it to be. I've actually never done any PvP in this game at all. I've never really played on multiplayer, multiplayer servers. Actually, if any of you watching happen to know of some really good, kind of small community multiplayer servers, I'd be really interested in that. I like the concept of multiplayer, but I don't like those really big, really big servers with, like, really established towns and paths and item shops and teleportation. I kind of want my servers to be more like, more like the Minecraft server, which has a village and stuff, but it's not, there's not so much infrastructure, it's more of people's personal, like, building projects. They have their houses, they have, like, all those things, but there's not not as much, like, pre-built, pre-established world. It feels kind of weird to me to log into Minecraft, which is supposed to be this, like, open, explore and, and, and build and discover sort of experience, at least to me. That's what I feel, that's what I like about it. So to log into a server and see, like, a town with a, a portal system and items and, and, like, stores, and that just seems, I don't know, it's not the Minecraft that I like. Maybe I'm being a little picky. In fact, I know that I'm being a little picky, but it's what I like. I know what I like. You have to know what you like. Okay, I'm gonna venture into this cave a little bit. Just a little bit. And see what there is to see. I like to, when I, when I cave, I like to put all my torches on the left. Which helps you figure out how to get out. That's, um, I learned that from somewhere. I think it was Paul Serez Jr one of his How to Survive and Thrive videos, which are amazing, by the way. If you're new to Minecraft and you sort of need some direction and help on figuring out what to do and how to do things, I very highly recommend those to you. I'll uh, put a link in the description of the video to that series, maybe if you're interested in it. Oh, iron. Well, this is a good little... I should probably block this, just while I'm not looking at it. Just to be safe. I don't want anything wandering up and surprising me. This iron will be nice. Hopefully it's more than just two or not. But at least we're getting coal. I'd hate to run out of torches and have to come back up to the surface. That would be really lame. Mining. I can't not mine everything. 
I know there's some people who can do that just like I'm just gonna take what I need and leave the rest of it. I that drives me nuts. I have to if I'm mining coal if I'm mining an if I'm going in a cave, I have to mine every ore that I see. I feel like eventually I'm gonna need them. Like I may have just gotten how much coal did I just get? I got thirty-four thirty-four coal, but one day I'm gonna need 34 coal. If I left that, I'd be sad. And I don't like to be sad. There's a spider. Hey, spider. Hey, spider. Okay. Some more iron, that's good. And what's down here? Oh, oh! More. Is that a spawner? That could be a spawner. That'd be really exciting to get a spawner. With some, um. Oh, I'm getting a little video glitch. I don't know if that's showing up in the video. I'm not really sure why that happens. Uh, that happens to me occasionally when I'm exploring. I'm not really sure why. It's a little concerning to me. It looks sort of like a graphics card issue. And this is a brand new. Well. It's been a couple months at this point, but it's a pretty new graphics card, so I really hope that it's not a problem. That would be a bummer. I don't want to have to deal with returning it and not having the computer for a while. So I've got seven iron now. That's enough for... What is it? I want to get one more and get a chest plate if I'm going to go back and, and uh, cook it. So, oh yeah, there was more up here. Great. And this is in dead end. That's nice. And more iron. Well, this is a good first episode. We got. If I was playing UHC, I'd be in. I'd be in good shape with this iron. I don't know if any of you happen to know of the Minecraft server. I mentioned them earlier. It's a server of YouTube Let's Players. Uh, it's organized by Good Boulderfist. That's his YouTube account, I think. And they're they do a thing called Ultra Hardcore, which it's a mod. It's actually being incorporated. Some elements of it are being incorporated into the vanilla game, which is really exciting. Um, where basically you don't regenerate health at all. The only way to gain health is by eating a golden apple, and they changed. As part of the mod, they changed the golden apple recipe to require gold ingots instead of gold nuggets, I think they were called, the small pieces of gold. So gold apples are much harder to get, they restore two health, and that's the only way you can get any life back. So it's very, it's really intense, and what they do is a sort of like Hunger Games uh, PvP deathmatch sort of thing, where... They spawn and the game scatters them to random locations inside a fixed area. Like, a, I think they do 2,000 blocks by 2,000 blocks. And. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. They in a, spawn in a 2,000 by 2,000 area that's surrounded by a bedrock wall, so you can't leave. And they get evenly distributed in the area. And it's a PvP deathmatch to be last man standing. It's really fun to watch. Right now, as I'm recording this, they're in the middle of releasing Season 11. They do every two days. They release a new video. And as soon as I'm done recording this, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go watch Episode 6 while it's rendering. Um, they're really fun, and I'd really like to do... to play that ultra hardcore mod it seems like a really really fun way to play minecraft it's sort of a it's a different it's a really different game from the just kind of exploring vanilla sort of world it's really like it's really an adventure game you start from scratch and within two hours you're basically done i know that there's a community on reddit that does ultra hardcore i think it's reddit it's r slash ultra hardcore un unoriginally but they organize them and I'm really excited to try to get to play some of those because that really sounds like a it sounds like a lot of fun. That's something I'd really like to be doing. 
at some point in the near future. And I would definitely, if I got into doing playing those, I would definitely make videos of them. They make for a really exciting video. That's the biggest reason that the Minecraft server guys do it is people really love the videos. They get a lot of new viewers. They get a lot of new subscribers. It's really fun. It's a really fun thing to, to play and to watch. And I definitely want to do that. That sound... I guess... I thought there was a spawner because there were a bunch of spiders. I guess that's a... It sounds to me like a, hey, there's a dungeon here, or hey, there's a spawner here, or some kind of thing like that. I will definitely have to go check that out. But I think the last thing I'm going to do here before I wrap up my first episode is finish cooking that iron. I, I don't remember exactly how much it is. Hopefully it's enough to get me a full suit of armor. I don't think so. I think it was a little short, but that's okay. I want to get armored up as much as I can so that I can cautiously go explore the spider spawner, which is down here, I believe. Yeah should mark it somehow. It's the spider spawner. And I'm gonna light this, or block off these holes that I made. I'm really afraid of having mobs spawn in places that I've been already, because you just kind of recklessly run through them. I don't think I missed any ores in here, but this is a nice long little staircase. I should pretty this up a little bit once I get all established. I really like to do that. It's really unnecessary in the game, but to make things really pretty and symmetrical, like at the beginning of my entrance to the cave to make stairs and columns and I'm not a builder per se, but I'm a prettifier, <laughs> if that's a thing. I like to make things pretty. It makes it a little homier, you know? Do I have anything else to cook? I have st my steak is all good. Um, no, and I don't have enough iron for any other armor. I don't think I saw any iron down here, so I guess I'll have to go explore the spawner. And I believe I'm gonna save that for the next video. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I did okay in my first Let's Play video. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations of things I could have done a little better, things that you'd like to see or that I should change, anything like that, please leave them in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.